Today I'm going to try to show you everything you need to know to get started with sweet picking. Here is the example pattern we'll be using. Let's start by looking at the right hand. You need to start this out extremely slowly. And still, it's important that you're not tempted to do standard picking motions. Now what I mean by that is this kind of thing. Those kind of normal, you know, up and down big movement kind of thing. Instead, we're going to try to do one consecutive sweep motion. I'm going to show it at a medium tempo first. There you can see the sweeping motion. Now if we do this slowly, or at the speed which I want you to start with, then it's going to look like this. What I'm doing there is that I'm picking and then I'm letting the pick rest on the next string. So it's like pick, and there you can see my pick was resting on the B string because I started on the G string and it was resting on the B string. This kind of picking motion is going to convert to the higher speed once you get there. I said once, I could even say when you get there because you are going to get there, right? Now what I mean by that is if you use this picking motion you will be able to move on to the higher speeds. On the other hand, if you use a more standard kind of picking motion, you'll never get onto those sweet picking speeds. Also, uh, to illustrate this, the movement we're doing is the exact same movement as if you were strumming a standard chord slowly. We're sweeping here. Now I know that many people have got the actual sweep movement down, but still they're unable to sweep at a higher tempo. And I think that many people see the sweeping technique as, you know, one big thing. Whereas it's in fact three different kind of techniques. You need to get the picking down, you need to get the left hand down, and then you need to synchronize them. So in this video I'll be showing you the exercises you need to learn all three of them. And this might sound a little complicated, uh, but the reason I'm mentioning this is because you are going to learn to sweep a lot quicker if you break it up into those three kind of things instead of taking, you know, trying to swallow the whole big thing. And that's going to take you so much time you're probably going to get discouraged and put the guitar down. So here is a good exercise for the right hand. Mute all the strings with your left hand and on the G string we're going to start on the G string and do this. And then we're going to go down. So, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. A good exercise for the left hand would be to use the example pattern I showed you and not use any picking at all. So, if you look at my right hand, you'll see 
I'm following the actual what what the left hand is doing, but I'm not picking. I'm just muting the strings we don't want to ring. So here's how it looks. No picking. So here's what I'm doing. Hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, pull off, hammer on. There we have it. So here's how you would count this exercise with the metronome. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now you will notice that this exercise is actually a really cool technique of its own. So once you master this, you can place your right hand here to mute all the strings you don't want and then you can rock away. Now when you master the right hand and the left hand, or at least when you start feeling comfortable with it after quite some practicing with these exercises, then is the time to put it together. Basically, I'm just going to do the same exercise, but I'm going to add the picking motion to it. So, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Now I'm going to show you just one of all the cool things you can do with the, the sweep picking technique once you start to get it down. We can take just a standard chord progression such as this one E minor, D major, C major and B major. And instead of playing it with those bar chords like You can play it by sweeping arpeggios using the same chords. I hope this video will inspire you to start practicing sweep picking. And I would strongly encourage you to record yourself, you know, record your progress with a video camera and post a video response to this video. You don't need to, you know, play up to tempo or anything like that, but I think it's going to be really great for, you know, other people to see that they're not alone in their struggle against sweep picking, or should I say, towards sweep picking. So I hope to see you soon, either here at YouTube or at guitarmasterclass.net where I'm holding live video clinics with this kind of content. See you. Cheers. Oh, and uh, by the way, that guy says he's got a small peeny-weeny. <laughs>